Bye and Moon Talk everybody. Good morning. It's Kevin here with Lumpy Life. First thing I want to do is say thank you for people tuning in to our last video. I don't know what happened, but uh, got a lot of views, so I appreciate everybody. You know, we got a lot of people from Australia, from all over the world. Uh, you know, the States, Philippines, but appreciate y'all. And uh, today has been, or this week has been uh, pretty good. Got a lot of stuff done around the house. Got back on the motorcycle, which was really good. Went and got the emission test done. And uh, I don't know, let's let's get into the video. Let's uh, see, see how it all turned out this week. Let's go. Okay, for the first time, and I'm pretty stoked, so get this guy uncovered and we'll go for a ride let's go so we got to take the laundry uh, laundry first Okay, so Mary Lou is getting a rebond. That's like hair straightening. I don't know, it's a, it's a thing here in the Philippines. Uh, you'll see her later. But I stopped into a bakery and I got two burgers for 45 pesos. So, two burgers and a Coke. I haven't had breakfast, so let's eat. So while Mary Lou is getting her hair done, I found a Mexican shop, Mexi Loco, Mexi Loco, here in Butuan. Music's kind of loud, but let's eat some Mexican food. I'm not. Thank you. Chicken tacos. Wow, that's pretty good. Queso Diablo. All right. <laughs> Chili pepper with queso Diablo. Queso yeah. Diablo. All right. So no much. So I just ordered the tacos and they brought out like jalapeno poppers with Diablo sauce. I can't remember the last time I had a jalapeno popper. Very good. Okay guys, remember I told you about the bathroom? The floor was rotted out, so I ordered some plastic to go down. These are the uh, sheets. They're pretty flimsy, but it should do the trick. And we're gonna install these today. These are the mats I got. They're pretty, pretty thin, um, but you know, they're gonna be 
permanent and they should uh, should be good enough for the shower and uh, I didn't spend too much you know uh, 360 pesos I believe for 20 pieces and I got 40 pieces so uh, we're gonna assemble this uh, kind of start out here uh, see how many squares I need and then uh, it should be pretty easy to cut these and uh, I don't know let's get to it uh, I gotta kind of clean this up give it a quick sweep So with these, you got these little uh, buttons here, and then they just snap into these. So we're just going to be putting these together like a little puzzle. I got off of Shopee or Lazada one of the two this Black & Decker leaf blower just gonna kind of blow out the bathroom real quick the shower I know it's kind of weird but uh, instead of using a broom but what can you do you know this is uh, pretty good for getting the sand out of here. Now I know this is, uh, this might seem kind of boring putting in some uh, bathroom mats, but uh, you know, some people find it inter interesting and I, I find it interesting uh, to watch other people's uh, process of building, building a house in the Philippines. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it's not too boring. Let's get this installed. So the stuff is really pretty thin, so you can um, cut it pretty easily. But uh, I know I'm going to have to do some trimming here. Um, what's the best way here? I think I'll go this way. So yeah, this just all s snapped together. We got uh, seven more pieces to hopefully trim this out. This uh, shower is not square. Snips. A lot of you know that I was a phone guy before I uh, retired. I retired there uh, 19 years. Uh, worked for GTE, then Verizon, then Frontier Communications. Uh, did. Uh, Started INR installation and repair, uh, and then I went into fiber optics, so installing fiber optics. So let's see how the snips work. All right, another project done. I got it all in, pretty much trimmed up. little space right there and a little corner right there but for the most part we have a new floor and uh, it should be good for non-slip and all that stuff so and it just looks a little better than the concrete so yeah all right got it done let's move on to the next project whatever that will be I'm not sure if I showed you this before uh, by the water tower. Um, I planted some kawaiian, some bamboo. This one right here was here when we arrived and it's already up there. The cop. Oh, this stuff grows fast. Uh, my brother-in-law, he put some um, 
some bamboo on the sides of his boats. Most of the fishing boats out here have kawaiian and these were like some uh, the end pieces and I just planted them. It was fresh bamboo that he had and I just planted them and uh, it took off. But I got this one that's leaning over the the roof. So I'm going to try to climb up the tower here and tie it off to try to straighten it out. Okay, we're going to climb this tower here. Maybe. It's always a little uh, sketchy, but let's do it. <clears throat> You can check the water here as well. I think there's water in here, but it's like too low, you know, to. I don't know. Whew, a lot of uh, cobwebs. So here's the bamboo that's leaning. I'm gonna try to tie it off. See what happens here. I love bamboo. That's why I named my dog Bamboo. Project's done. Let's get down. All right, all right, all right. I think that worked. Much better. But for now, it's good to go, good to go. Look at these stocks. Okay. You see what I did up here? Yeah, that's nice, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because it was uh, leaning over towards our yeah. bedroom window. So, Asawa approved. <laughs> Okay. Approved the unreasonable doubt. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. Yeah. Okay, somebody suggested I do some bonsai. And uh, I actually have done some bonsai. I don't know if it's technically bonsai, but uh, this is a coconut I planted uh, back in 2020. It was growing out of a uh, coconut that had fallen on the ground, cracked it open, got the roots. She's about three feet tall or so. But yeah, coconut bonsai. I saw some guy on YouTube doing this, so I uh, thought I'd give it a shot. I did have, I don't know, three or four more, but those didn't survive while we were away at least. But uh, yeah. There she is. Okay, the other day, or the last video, I gave a shout out to PLDT because we've been up, no problems. And there's probably not a problem, but I reset our router. Let me show you here. So this is the router that we have. And I did a hard reset with the pin, you know, on the side everything I wanted to update the Wi-Fi passwords and all this stuff you know we've been gone I don't know who's connected to this 
So I did a hard reset because I wanted to log in. And I tried, I've been trying to log in with the IP address. You know, you type in 192.168.1.1. And it kept refusing connection. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I thought maybe a hard reset, maybe I could, you know, reset it back to factory and go from there. And you know, this was my job before. So after doing that, I couldn't, I still couldn't connect. So I had to get in contact with PLDT. Contacting PLDT uh, was not an easy task, especially if you don't have internet. I mean, I have uh, cellular internet right now, so it's all good. But the signal out here is not all that great, so it took a while, right? Things take a while here in the Philippines. I chatted with them for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, and it comes to find out that this router is not compatible anymore. So they got to send out a technician. And they said, possibly three days. So no Wi-Fi for three days. So hopefully it gets repaired before um, Sunday. I think Sunday is when I'm gonna launch this video. So keep your fingers crossed and uh, we'll go from there. Very fast service. This was my job before in the States. I was a fiber technician. Fiber technician. Yeah. Familiar testing equipment, the Expo. Okay, so PLDT came out and again, shout out to PLDT. Um, we still don't have internet quite yet. He says it's gonna take about an hour for activation. But uh, we did get a new router, a little smaller than the original one. But uh, yeah, pretty happy. Good job, PLDT. That guy, he's got a quota of 15 jobs per day. Otherwise they get, you know, bad reviews or bad performance. So, you know, he had nine more jobs after me and I don't know why I wasn't moved out to tomorrow or the next day. They told me three days, but man, quick service. Appreciate it, PLDT. Waiting for that internet, I'll let you know when it's up. Okay guys, looks like the internet is back. Let's just do a quick speed test here. All right, yeah. So he said that the router, the pawn light was gonna flash until it became activated and Voila, there we go. Another project done. Hey guys, all right, it's a new day, it's Friday. And today I'm going to take the bike and uh, we need to go do some emissions and uh, I guess update the registration. So let's hit the road and uh, let me show you what you need here. The cool thing about this is that they do everything for you. They take it to the LTO after you get emission testing done. But they also include insurance, which is nice. But you need a copy of your OR, which is the official receipt. And then uh, CR, which is uh, registration. It's uh, kind of cloudy today. And um, it was uh, sprinkling a little bit. Google, oh yeah, it's coming down now. But we got to do it. Had to wait a week for this uh, appointment. So let's hit the road.
Okay, so we've made it to J JDT Emissions, and uh, basically it's like the DEQ, and they take care of everything, which is cool. The registration with the LTO and insurance, and the emission testing. So let's get her done. I had done a video before on JDT, but um, you can make an appointment on their Facebook page. They have a Facebook page. A lot of people were asking me if I could schedule their appointment. Go to their Facebook page and schedule your appointment. Okay guys, JDT emissions, it probably took us, what, half hour? Yeah. About a half hour. And again, you can make an appointment through their Facebook page. I can't help you. I did a video before on them doing the emissions and everybody was asking me, can I make an appointment with you? So go to their Facebook page. I'll leave a link down below here in Butuan City if you want your emissions done. Well guys, there's been a change of plans today. I try to do my videos on Saturday or edit them. So, um, I can get it out to you on Sunday. So hopefully I can still do that today. Um, we're buying some new bamboo, some new Hawaiian for some fencing in the back here. So I didn't think we were gonna do it today, but uh, my brother-in-law, he went down to Masao and uh, negotiated the price for some Hawaiian and uh, we're gonna pick it up today. So. Hopefully I can get the video out to you tomorrow, Sunday, but if not, it'll be Monday. So stay tuned and uh, let's go get some bamboo. Kauaian, let's go. Well guys, I'm going to end the video here today and uh, I'm gonna give you a bonus. Uh, probably in a couple days, uh, we went to get some uh, bamboo, this bamboo right here. So. I'm going to show you the process of picking up that bamboo. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate everybody out there watching our videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Bye for now.